Hello, everyone. Welcome to part three of our basic Python scripting for simplicity series. Today, we'll be demonstrating more of the simplicity library calls in a more realistic scenario. To demonstrate this, we've created a set of um, model instances for a building automation uh, project where we have a number of furnaces that are being monitored and each furnace has a number of sensors, including a temperature sensor. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use a Python script to average the furnace temperatures across all of the furnaces in this building. As you'll recall from previous videos, we have a Python script that is triggered whenever a point changes, and we're going to reuse that script today and enhance it. So instead of using uh, calling test function, we're going to call this function uh, calculate average to make it more applicable to what we're actually doing. We're going to just call that from the uh, event uh, do action, uh, do event action script, as well as from the test function so that we have consistency. So now what we want to do in this function is actually do some more work uh, to calculate, retrieve the values of those furnace temperatures and average them together. To do this, we're going to use another uh, capability in Python, which is to import a helper library. And we're going to use the library numpy, which lets us do numeric calculations. We're going to do it like that. So first, we'll start by creating an array using the numpy functionality. We'll call it numbers array and we'll use the IntelliSense to uh, find the functions we need. In this case we're going to use a function called zeros and we're going to make it 10 size of 10 because that's how many furnaces we have. Now we're going to iterate through those and retrieve the values from the using the simplicity library. So we'll go 1 to 11, which is 10. Uh, we're going to retrieve a point name. Actually, we're going to build a point name that we're going to use the format from, from the uh, how it's built in the Simplicity database. So we have building automation, furnace, number, temperature. So then what we want to do now is use the we're going to fill in the numbers array, and we're going to take i minus 1, because it's zero based. We're going to go use now the simplicity library, and we're going to use the point get function. And this point get function takes in the point name, and, and uh, we're going to just fill up that whole array uh, with those values from each one of the furnaces. Now, we're going to average those using the numpy functionality, which has a mean function, and we're going to pass in the numbers array. So we'll start there. I'll also quickly pop in two more simplicity functions. The point set function, which will actually set that value back into uh, a simplicity point and then we'll retrieve that point so that we know we had the right number. Next we're going to go ahead and write out that value to the status log. So I've changed this log status to log out the temperature value and then we'll go ahead and uh, debug this to see how those values are actually getting retrieved from simplicity and setting back to simplicity. So I've set a breakpoint in the do test function and where we get the point value from simplicity. So let's go ahead and run this. We see we've hit our breakpoint in the do test function. We can step into the next function. You can see as we go through the for loop that this array starts to fill up with values we're retrieving from simplicity. As I go through the whole array, that numbers array you can see is filling up. 
Then we're just going to go to the next breakpoint. And we see that we've got an average value. We've set it back into a simplicity value, furnace average temperature. And you can see if you go look at our point control panel that furnace average temperature now has that new value, 70.1 or 70.12. Uh, so then if we retrieve that value, you can see that value came back into our script and we're going to log that out to the to the um, status log so you can see through these uh, this debugger uh, actions we've actually interacted directly with the simplicity database and uh, both retrieving and doing a calculation and then setting back values to the database of course, you can then take these after running it through the debugger and actually run it using the event manager. Happy Python coding in Simplicity.